Hi everybody, this is Corey with Aspen Grove Studios and today I'm going to give you an update and overview on Divi Ghoster 2.0. Many of you uh, may already be familiar with, uh, with Divi Ghoster. It's a plugin that we released a while back that allows you to, uh, to white label Divi so it's not recognizable on the back end of your website. So by configuring Divi Ghoster you can add your own branding to the Divi tab, the dashboard, the page builder, page settings, and theme options. Uh, we've also added um, some really cool new features to Divi Ghoster 2.0, uh, along with uh, recoding it from the from the ground up to make it more efficient and lightweight for you. Um, so right away, uh, just to give you an idea of some of the new features that we've included, uh, we have um, made it so that Divi is not recognizable in the source code, and we've also included the functionality to uh, to hide Divi from theme detector websites when uh, Ultimate Divi Ghoster is enabled. So let's uh, go ahead and get started here and uh, jump into the website and I'll show you how to install Divi Ghoster 2.0 and get going. Okay, uh, here we are on the uh, back end of our WordPress website with uh, Divi installed and uh, activated as the current theme. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to um, install um, Divi Ghoster and uh, just, just show you a couple of important steps that you'll need to follow. So uh, prior to, uh, to uploading the plugin and activating it, uh, you, you want to go in and make sure that your permalinks are set, are set to something other than, um, than plain on uh, a lot of fresh WordPress installations. The, um, the permalinks will be set to plain. So you want to make sure that you change those uh, those permalinks. So probably the most common um, the most common permalink settings that you see in WordPress are the post name. So just as long as they're anything but the plain, um, Divi Ghoster will work just fine. Okay, so now that we have um, the permalink set, uh, let's go to Add New Plugin, Upload Plugin, Choose File and find out where uh, the DiviGhoster.zip is that you downloaded from our website. Click Install Now and Activate. Okay, so, so uh, this method of, uh, of installing is for uh, the people who are either installing it on a new website or have just purchased the plugin. For those of you that currently have DiviGhoster installed on a live website, you will receive an update notification, um, but just like we followed in the first step uh, for the for the upload of the plugin, you want to make sure that your permalinks are set to something other than uh, plain uh, default prior to prior to updating to to uh, Divi Ghoster 2.0. Okay, so now that we have uh, Divi Ghoster um, installed and activated, you'll notice that you now have a uh, Divi Ghoster uh, tab over here in the menu. So, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, jump in here and we'll go over some of the uh, configuration settings for Divi Ghoster. All right, uh, we have installed Divi Ghoster and uh, here we are on the, um, the Ghoster dashboard. And uh, you'll see some different configuration settings and this is uh, similar to Divi 1.0. Um, there, there's a couple of changes to the dashboard. Probably one of the, the most notable is that you only have to hit save changes uh, once now. Uh, you used to have to hit it twice. But the overall uh, configuration is, is pretty much the same. Um, so the first step is you'll go ahead and enter your desired branding name. So here I'm going to act like I'm a, a company called Acme Web. And just enter the name there. Then upload image. And uh, in our media library I already have a, a, a desired uh, logo here. and um, our recommended size is 36 by 36. If you um, you know want to scale it up to 72 by 72, then it, it, it'll work fine and, and scale it down to the proper size. You just don't want to get too large of a file because it'll it'll bog down your site. So choose image, and you'll now see the uh, the image URL appear there. And then next is the uh, the slug text and. Uh, this will this will change the uh, the name that appears like in the theme options and a couple of different places. Okay, um, <clears throat> so this first step, I'm just going to show you the basic Divi Ghoster without Ultimate Ghoster enabled. 
So I have these, uh, these three settings configured, and I'm going to hit Save Changes. Okay, and now that I've done that, you'll notice that the, uh, the Divi tab over here has been renamed Acme Web. Uh, the Divi library has been changed to Acme Web Library. Um, and uh, theme options here. When you go into theme options, you'll see that we now have our Acme logo and Acme Web showing instead of Divi. So in addition to that, um, you will notice in the page, the page builder, that we now have the um, use the Acme Web Builder and the Acme logo, and also in the page settings here, um, Acme Web Page Settings. And when we enable the Divi Builder, it's going to keep uh, your branding up in this area here, and also uh, at the top of the um, of the Divi Builder itself. Okay, uh, so so like I said, that that basic functionality uh, is the same as Divi Ghoster 1.0. But we have added some really cool new features in, uh, in Divi Ghoster 2.0. And uh, let's go ahead and jump back over into our uh, Divi Ghoster dashboard. And I'll walk you through those, um, through those new um, features that we have added. And uh, here we are back in our Divi Ghoster dashboard. And you'll notice that all of the uh, configuration settings that we made initially uh, still remain here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, show you the ultimate Ghoster feature. Um, so in a moment here, we'll toggle this on, and I'll, I'll show you some of the cool new um, functions that this will enable. Uh, but before we do that, I'm, I want to cover a, a couple of things. Um, so first of which, if you read uh, some of these instructions down here, you'll see that ultimate Ghoster will not work if the permalink structure is set to plane and settings permalinks. So uh, you, you want to go in and make sure that that's set to something other than default. You'll also see that enabling Ultimate Ghoster will hide the plugin. So this means it will hide it um, from, the, from the plugins, installed plugins dashboard. It'll also hide the, uh, the menu item um, over here to the left. And so uh, basically what we're pointing out here is that uh, in order to get back to, um, to the Divi Ghoster dashboard, um, after you've enabled Ultimate Ghoster, you want to save this link uh, to a safe place, and you'll notice it's basically your um, your website URL followed by a slug. So if you do happen to lose um, the link, it's not a big deal. Uh, we outline how to how to get back to the uh, Divi Ghoster dashboard um, in the README documentation that's provided, and also in the uh, FAQ section of our website. So if you lose that, not a big deal. Just uh, know where to look for that information. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and tick on um, Ultimate Ghoster here. Uh, before I do, I, I want to show you um, currently, um, if, if we hover over Acme Web, which has been branded with your information, you do see some Divi-specific uh, plugins showing here. There's Divi Switch, Divi Booster, and Aspen Footer Editor. So enabling Ultimate Ghoster will actually um, hide those from um, from not only the uh, from not only the um, the dashboard here, the navigation. It'll also hide it from the uh, plugins installed plugins page. So let's go ahead and uh, turn that on. Hit Save Changes. Okay, Ultimate Ghoster is enabled. Let's go to the um, to the plugins dashboard, and you'll notice here that um, along with uh, the Divi Ghoster plugin not showing, it's also hidden um, Divi Switch, Divi Booster, and Aspen Footer Editor. So, uh, so a, a user of your of your website, a client of yours, won't be able to tell um, by coming to this dashboard here that you're using Divi, um, regardless of which of these popular plugins that you have installed. And you also see that uh, that the Divi Switch, Divi Booster, and Aspen Footer ed Editor has has been removed uh, from the sidebar navigation here. Okay, so now that I've shown you that, let's hop over to Appearance and Themes. Okay, and you'll notice uh, that in your Themes dashboard, uh, Divi has been uh, changed uh, so that it's it's white labeled with your branding. So here it shows Acme Web 
And so, so anybody coming to this page won't be able to tell that you have uh, Divi installed either. It's also uh, important to note that when a uh, update to Divi is available, it'll show as, as an update for your uh, desired branding name and not for Divi. Okay, uh, so that basically covers most of the, uh, the backend uh, functionality for Ultimate Ghoster. So let's go ahead now and let's go ahead and uh, hop over now to the, uh, to the front end and I'll show you some of the cool uh, revolutionary new features that, that we've uh, incorporated there. Okay, and here we are on the, uh, the front end of our website, and this is just a, a fresh installation of Divi. And uh, I'm going to show off to you now uh, the, two new, the two newest features of uh, the Divi Ghoster plugin that are new to, uh, to Ghoster 2.0. So, uh, so in addition to completely recoding the plugin, making it less buggy, more compatible, and more efficient, We've also added these two new uh, really cool features that have been highly requested. So um, previously, um, the Divi Ghoster plugin would still allow people to, to view the source code of your Divi theme. But now you can see with uh, Ultimate Ghoster enabled, rather than, uh, than showing Divi in the source code, it shows your, uh, your slug that you've entered. So here you can see it shows Acme underscore web. And so through the source code, uh, Divi is not visible like it is without Ghoster or like it was in Ghoster 1.0. And along with that, uh, we've also added the functionality to block uh, Divi and um, the Divi Ghoster plugin from being viewed in Theme Detector software. So here I have uh, wpthemedetector.com open and I'm going to paste in our website URL and we're going to search the, the theme detector and this will just take a moment or so to process okay so you can see now that uh, with the uh, theme detector uh, this one and also other theme detectors out there Divi is no longer um, no longer searchable, so it'll show your your branding name, and also remove um, r remove the Divi Ghoster plugin from appearing um, in the plugins list on these websites. So uh, so there you have it. That's a couple of the really cool new features that we've introduced in Divi Ghoster 2.0. Um, so uh, we also have uh, in the future a couple of really cool new updates coming um, as well. Uh, one of those being extra compatibility, and also um, we plan to add compatibility with the um, the Divi Builder plugin. So if you're using the Divi Builder plugin with a theme other than Divi, it'll also help white label that for you. So um, after the release here of 2.0, uh, keep keep an eye out for um, for those future releases as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump over into the back back into the back end here and go over just one more important step um, before we let you go here. Okay, uh, so one of the last items I, I wanted to cover um, before I let you go is how to, uh, to properly uninstall Divi Ghoster. So if uh, for any reason you wanna remove Divi Ghoster from your, from your website, um, you, you wanna make sure that you follow these steps. So uh, as you can rem remember previously, I copied the, uh, the, the slug uh, to take you back to the Divi Ghoster dashboard since it's, uh, it's missing down here. And as mentioned, if you lost that, it's real easy to find uh, in the README documentation or the FAQ documentation on our website. Okay, so here we are back in the, uh, the Divi Ghoster dashboard. And um, also, before I let you go, um, I just want to remind you that Divi Ghoster also includes a, a login customizer, uh, which was also a feature in Ghoster 1.0. So uh, I, I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial, but uh, you can read more about it um, in the, in the uh, README documentation of Divi Ghoster or watch, watch the video for Ghoster 1.0. So uh, before you uninstall Divi Ghoster, um, you want to make sure that you've, uh, you've disabled Ultimate Ghoster and hit Save Changes. Um, th there might be a, a case where you have to go in through the cPanel or uh, through FTP and, and delete the Ghoster plugin. 
Um, but you want to make sure before you do that that you uh, that you disable Ultimate Ghoster. So uh, that is the final step here. We've covered how to uh, how to install the plugin. We've covered the uh, the features and new features of the plugin, and also how to how to uninstall it. So if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at info at aspengrovestudios.com. Or you can also uh, leave a comment down in the comment section uh, underneath this video. So we hope that you enjoy, and we'll talk to you soon.